What is up guys, the strong boys 19 here. So this is going to be another update video for you and it is almost the end of May. So I decided to show you which albums I've bought throughout this month and I've been spending quite a lot on eBay once again, but uh, I have a lot of CDs to show. So let's get started. The first three are cluster albums these three and i've been really coming back to the kraut rock progressive electronic ambient scene of of germany's music so here's cluster two i have heard of the first album but it's on youtube and this is a remaster the brain labels right there and this album is simply brilliant. Really, really did like the sounds of this. And uh, the Brain logo is right there. But yeah, Cluster 2. Uh, these are remasters, by the way. Cluster 2 is a brilliant album. The next one is Zuckerzeit. Again, on the Brain label. And... Uh, the disc is white this time, and I think this is better than Cluster 2, and this is where Cluster had been making more of the, the melody side of their electronic sound, but this is absolutely fantastic. Same with this one, Sui Zoso. This is a remaster from the Sky label and it's right here i do love the simplicity of the logo and uh, this is another amazing album i can't decide which one is my favorite so far either zuckerzeit or soi zoso i also have heard of uh, their stuff with brian eno after the heat and cluster and eno um, and also grosses vassar which i have heard most of it on youtube but cluster are another really great group of kraut rock now these cds i've bought from one ebay seller a lot of the discography of pink floyd since that i had reviewed their discography i decided to buy a lot of their albums haven't got all of them these are in a, a random pile here we have Animals. By the way, I decided to buy the 1994 uh, remasters. But that's Animals. This is still, to me, a really strong album. One of their best in a long time. Wish You Were Here. This was the CD version that I had listened to when I was discovering Pink Floyd. And I decided to buy my own. So I absolutely still adore this album. The next one, Metal. Metal sounds amazing through the headphones. And this is still, to me, one of their strongest and uh, best classic albums. The Division Bell. Now this is an original 1994 CD release. It does have that sticker on there. And I really like the way that they did this. And uh, that's another album that is still one of my favourites. The Piper at the Gates of Dawn. Not much needed to be said about this one because this album is fantastic. And... Uh, the next one is Obscured by Clouds, the soundtrack album to La Vallée in uh, 1972. And still, for some reason, I always would listen to this just as the studio album instead of a soundtrack. But I really like this one. And uh, I have Umaguma. This includes the studio album and the live album together. And this includes a poster, which is really the the album cover of umaguma itself 
I really did like Omagoma. Still divided by some Floyd fans, but uh, I think this is just one of their best. And uh, you can see that embossed um, look of the the packaging. But that's that one. And the last one, more. The soundtrack to the movie of the same name. I haven't got The Dark Side of the Moon or A Source of Full of Secrets yet. I'm not sure about buying the final cut or a momentary lapse of reason. Yes, Pink Floyd are one of my top bands of all time. Because I absolutely love a lot of their albums. But I'm not sure about those two. Uh, this is this is a really underappreciated album. And I think it deserves more chances. Even though it's not like one of my top 10 favourites. But I really did like this one. And the last thing music wise is a record. This is Rebecca Downs' latest album. More Sinner Than Saint. It's autographed and it's limited to 325 copies. It does include the lyrics insert, which is right here on both sides. But also, what's even more beautiful is that it is on red vinyl. Red vinyl, so damn gorgeous. And as a follow-up to Believe, which is my favourite album of hers, this almost comes close as her best. But I think Believe is one of the, the best blues-sounding albums of all time. You can check her out on Facebook. Spotify, YouTube, you know, she means the world to me. Just one of my favourite people and influences in music in the first place. Check this out. Check this out. Fantastic. The last thing that I would like to show you is a book that has been really useful and helping me a lot because of my phase of positive mental attitude and this is this book called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And this is the um, revised and updated version. And I haven't read all of this yet. I'm on to uh, chapter 5. But this is so interesting. Highly recommend this. One of the most beloved self-help books. And... A big thank you to Free To Be Who I Be, who talked about the different riches from these chapters in this book on one of his videos. And he did mention about this, and that really got me interested to know about it in the first place. So that is that, guys. That's the update for today. Sorry for the, the heavy amount of brightness and the glaring that has been happening in this video. But I will be back to do an album review and it will be on Definitely Maybe by Oasis. So I know I haven't done a review of any album for one month and I'm so sorry. I've been very busy with the usual stuff. So yeah, that's the way it is for now. But I will promise you guys to review Definitely Maybe. So thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.